the box. Take the flexible function. Okay? Take the text box area where you can write the content. Did you see this text box? You take the text box, drag and pull out an area and then you write there. That's all. Yeah. What are the topics pertaining to class 9 in ICT skills and class 10 ICT skills? Because most of the teachers know they say in 9 we don't have to teach anything, only the 10th standard teachers will teach because this is going to be for 2 years. Uh, the children will start studying this for two years. So, ninth, you cannot take it in a relaxed way. You have to take the content topic pertaining to that. Otherwise, the tenth teacher will find it very difficult to manage the entire nine and ten topics. Okay? Ambri Ashwati, madam, is it clear? Okay. Now you can contribute your work. Yeah, some teachers have started. Okay. Okay, some teachers have started. Good. Adur Shift one madam has started already. Sri Lakshmi, Kulasi, Balakrishnan, Sir, Ganya, everybody started. So hope you can now contribute your ideas. Yes, class nine, 10 is there, class 9 is there. Alright. Yeah, SAP, madam is uh, starting. Ashwati, madam. Okay, you can do it. Anybody can praise, uh, uh, but you concentrate on your slide and produce the content because otherwise you will just go up and down. Okay, so everybody is able to write the content now. <coughs>
Okay, so this is just an exercise that you can you can take Google Slides, you can take Google Slides, and then uh, you can give some work, group work for the students to present it. Where you can trace the content at any time whenever you wish. Okay. Now initially some teachers had a difficulty of how to provide the content uh, there to get it start the typing and all. But now everything is fine. Now we have learned something new. Okay. So this is the reason why we have included. Shall I close now? Then this is you can even keep typing for the next day. Tomorrow also you can I can see this. Whatever you have typed, I can see it. So today basically after going home, you demarcate the topics what comes in class 9 and what comes in class 10 separately so that you have a, a correct picture of what to teach in 9 and what to teach in 10. Now let us go to the material provided by CBSE. Let us go to the material <coughs> provided by CBSE. This is class 9's material. Hope you can see my screen. This is class 9's material which I have taken from the uploaded content of our Google Classroom only. Last year, we have uploaded this content. The content is still there. You can take it. I, the ninth standard contents are all there. So, it is uh, has uploaded each and every content minutely. And uh, it is still remaining there for the teachers to refer to it. So, you can take the topic and then you can check it out. Okay. The role, role of ICT in day-to-day -day life. By the way, in the chat box, now, come back to the chat box and say, what is the full form of ICT? What is the full form of ICT? May I know the full form of ICT? Come to the chat box and type. Okay, now let us close the Google uh, slide because now you have to be back and then listen to my content that I am depicting through this now. Google Classroom. Okay, very good. Information and Communication Technology. Yes, correct. Because children can, for one mark, no, actually last year when they have conducted the test in a 10th standard, 10th standard test. Actually, no, we may, in KV, we are about to write the 10th standard, our students are about to write the 10th standard examination for the first time. But in most of the public schools all over India, they have already started this many years back. And they, now, right now, this, this year, 21, 22, no, most of the uh, public schools have produced their first batch of 12th standard to write their 12th standard AI, Artificial Intelligence Examination. So the first question paper of Artificial Intelligence pertaining to class 10 and class 12 is also out in the CBSC. This, this year's CBSC, question paper uh, site. Okay, question paper site. Here, so you can refer to the contents and then teach them. Hello. Ah. Good afternoon. Yes, yes, yes. Ah. Oh, all right. they are going to use this ICT feature, then how this ICT is used in education, how in education in flipped classrooms. Now, when due to COVID, Anna, all the classes were online classes. Then we have used uh, extensively this ICT tools <coughs> and ICT tools and ICT devices. We have used ICT devices to attend to the online classes. So everybody has used, instead of this software, chalkboards and uh, other uh, traditional methods of teaching you know, everybody has come to the interactive digital whiteboards and they have started teaching learning uh, assessments were also given to that uh, interactive digital uh, uh, classrooms and all okay so how that has affected in education what are the advantages of ICT in 
in Asia and one in just all these are the questions that come in the CBSC. From the last year, for term one, this was there. So they, in term one, there was MCQ questions. But now MCQ questions are not there. Instead, it is replaced with one more question and answer type. So the same question will be turned up, twisted into not an optional one, but as one mark question. So you can get a question like writing advantage, right? Two advantages of ICT in education. ICT at home, ICT at health. Next is ICT, how is it being used in health? COVID-19, we had, uh, government has developed so many uh, apps, isn't it? Can you tell me any few apps names which could have traced our health during COVID-19 situation? Ah, Aroke Setu, very good, very good. Sri Lakshmi Man has said, Aroke Setu app, yes. So, government has also started using this ICT to communicate to the people, citizens, isn't it? So, yes, Aroke Setu app and so many other chat bots, you must understand. Next tomorrow session, I will be teaching natural language processing. In natural language processing, actually this chat bots, People now, people now, when they are stressed, stress may be in many ways, can be due to COVID-19, people that are locked inside the houses, they are not <coughs> able to communicate with anyone around the uh, around their house. So they were isolated, like they don't have anybody to talk. So they are, they were mentally depressed. They have, they have gone to mental depression. Yes, correct, correct. So there were many chatbots developed by the government. Those chatbots, when you talk to the chatbot, no, you don't feel like uh, you don't feel like the chatbot is a machine. You feel like the other end, you have somebody there to listen to your talk. Okay, that has reduced the uh, mental stress. Then another advantage of this chatbots, no, uh, people do not like to go to psychiatrists and all. If they have any mental depression or if they have any stress or tension. When it is too much, no, people do not like to go to psychiatrists. So, actually, but actually, I told you, no, ICT means you have to be very careful. There are fake sites also, which collect your information and then uh, they will uh, use it for any other faulty email applications, contract users and all. But you go to the correct sites, which the government has mentioned it. And in our careers for uh, stress management, we have uh, we have developed one program, and children want it. Children are given CBSC also has interested to give that link to the um, ch uh, children. Can anybody suggest that app, uh, that uh, that uh, program name? Can anybody suggest the program name mm -hmm. in the chat box, which will release the tension? And uh, there are there are certain. Ha, ah, yes, very good. Sri Lakshmi Madam again scored by giving the answer first, that is Manodar Pantopra, wherein, yeah, yes, Cyber Jagarupata, yes, correct, yes, right. So there are many chatbots, when you talk to those chatbots, if it is the correct one, not the fake one, then you can release your tension. When you do not have anybody to talk, you can just uh, talk to the chatbot and uh, release your tensions. Okay, so how is that going to be benefited is all being discussed over here. Then how the government, how the government is using ICT to communicate to the citizens. Now everything like passport filling or uh, uh, whatever it is now, everything is digitalized because people can sit at home and do it. During Corona, people can sit at home and do it. They don't have to go to offices. Okay, then how ICT is going to be benefited in business? Everything now 24 into 7, you have, you can shop, you can do e-commerce, you can uh, go to Amazon and then purchase the things, you can have net banking facility, e-banking facility. So all these uh, enable the people, citizens, not to go and stand in the long queue. Okay, so that is the main advantage. You don't have to go and stand in the queue. You don't have to day and night, 24 into 7 hours. You can set the 7 days also. You can all, you can contribute, you can take, uh, you can do all the uh, online practices. Okay, now next is how is this ICT impacting the society? Can anybody tell me how this ICT is impacting the society? What it does on the society? Before I show you the content, what it does to the society? 
What it does to the society? Yes. Uh, society is divided into two sections. One is like digitalized world. Like people can, uh, people, some, some people know uh, that they can do anything and everything through internet. But other, other side, you know, when people are from the rural area where the net facility is not that much, now our Kerala, a phone, a phone, yesterday our uh, chief minister has uh, released that Kerala has become the first uh, state to give up uh, the internet connection uh, to every citizen in Kerala, isn't it? A phone, Kerala fiber optic connectivity, isn't it? So, uh, we, uh, you have, uh, yes, correct. It, it is going to make our life easy, digital, uh, yeah, it, digital division has taken place. That is what we are going to discuss here. So uh, as people, people who know professionally to work with ICT, people who know professionally to work with ICT, and people who do not know, people who have got some gap, people who do not know to work with uh, this ICT technology. So like that, two divisions are there in our society now, but very soon that will get up, reduced. The communication, that, that gap gets reduced very soon. And that is the reason why we are training the younger citizens. Okay, I see this because we are training the younger citizens to reduce the gap. The old people only now, they have also learned this too much, but uh, uh, whatever the little gap there is, that is because of their age only. But otherwise, now everybody, we are in the digital world, everybody wants to uh, manipulate this ICT tools. Okay, now how is this ICT used in our daily life? How is ICT used in our daily life? You can read the newspaper online, you can have social uh, friendship, isn't it? You can have video conferencing, now this uh, workshop is also conducted in an online mode, where that's also again the use of ICT, isn't it? So you can have a Facebook contact, uh, you can use smartphones, you can use many, many, many online banking facilities, transfer money, CDC, digital, uh, the payment value money and all is transferred now digitally, but digital, digitally only, isn't it? So all these are the benefits of ICT. Now next, so what are the tools? Children should know what is ICT and what are the things tools. Now, tools means that we function or with which the apps or whatever it is, with which people are going to uh, use them. So, mobile phones is a tool, tablet is a tool, we know how to explain all this. Okay, radio, uh, radios are now talking to the still, that's also the So, that the smart TVs are there. Okay, so these are all very dangerous with the digital. Madam lost connection. Who else has joined from that school? Dronacharya. Hope Madam will join soon.
Anybody from INS Dronacharya? What happened? Uh, meanwhile, here we can have an intro uh, interaction too regarding the questions that are open always. What are the interesting activities that you have conducted in your classrooms or how better we can introduce these topics? Anybody can speak. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Participants, please interact. Participants, most of you, uh, your cameras are turned off. Uh, kindly switch on camera. Components of the computer needs no mention. You can elaborate on that. So, uh, what kind of points you need to focus on? Like keyboard means, what are the different types of keys on this? Can use chat box also.
ICT topic is uh, <coughs> most familiar topic. Any of the PGTs can just uh, share the screen uh, demonstrating the basic file for computer maintenance and it can be shown so that we can help for others we can realize this time. Is that clear, madam? Just share the screen and so that will be useful. This is the question paper. This is the question paper that is used. Here. Is it down? <laughs> down one. So this is the type of questions that we will be having.
So when we are considering the case of artificial intelligence, there are three main domains of data science, computer vision, as well as NLP, natural language processing. Uh, natural language processing. So when we are uh, looking at the top of the project, we can see uh, three uh, things, uh, three elements, three elements are there. A data, NLP, as well as CV. So, based on the project which has developed, uh, what uh, domain they have used in the project accordingly, it has been selected. Okay. <coughs> so, this uh, projects, uh, these uh, uh, what instructions, everything, it is uh, self-explanatory only. So, what project or what they have done for the society that has been uh, given here. So just like uh, uh, students just uh, like in the class 9th as well as 10th, or maximum they will be told standard, they have been to given this, this opportunity. So if it is possible for a student of that particular age, um, who can